Welcome back, everyone. It's time for lesson 16, adding fractions. This first example is super easy because the denominators are the same. We've got fourths and fourths. So when the denominators are the same, you just add the numerators. So 1 plus 2 is 3, and you keep the same denominator. So it's 3 fourths. Now we're going to take a look, though, when the denominators are different, so fourths and halves. As is, we really can't work with this because if we did 1 plus 1 is 2, but then we would be confused about what denominator to use. So we've got to do something called find a common denominator. A common denominator. And luckily, if you've been watching my videos, you watched the video about factors and multiples. If you haven't, I would suggest going back and looking at that one because that will help us when we're working with two different denominators. If we can list multiples of those two numbers, then we can find something they have in common, a common multiple. So I'm going to start listing my twos and my fours to see what they have in common. So I'm going to start here. We've got two, four, six. Okay, I'm not going to go real far because I, I already see that there's a four here, and this other denominator is four. So if I start listing that, four, eight. Oh, I already have something they have in common. Awesome. They have fours in common. All right, so now I wrote it down as one fourth, since four was the common multiple, the common denominator, I'm going to leave that the same, and I'm going to change one half into an equivalent fraction with fourths. So I can kind of think about how would I get from two to four? Okay, you might have said times two. Okay, that works, and we'll do that to the top number as well, just like we did with equivalent fractions. That's another video I've made that will help you if you haven't um, had a lot of practice with equivalent fractions. There's a video that will help you with that. So 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, so now it's super easy to just add the numerators because our fourths, they're the same. 1 plus 2 is 3, just like my first example, 3 fourths. All right, and since I've been enjoying using pizza in all of my fraction videos, I thought, why not? Let's bring them back for adding fractions. So I wanted to point out that pictures can really help with this skill. So it's good to know about, you know, listing multiples and finding the least common multiple, but it's also good if you can visualize it too and, and draw it out. So here we have 1 8th, here's my picture of 1 8th, plus 3 fourths, and here's my other picture. And I don't have a common denominator yet, so I'm going to figure out what is a good common denominator. Okay, so let's list our 4s and our 8s. Okay, so 4, 8, oh, I'm going to stop because I already noticed the 8, look. 8, 16, we already have one in common, the 8. Okay, so that's great because I've got an 8 here. I don't have to change it, but I can change this 3 fourths into 8ths. I'm going to use my picture first because I can change this picture into 8 pieces by cutting up each of the fourths into 2 slices. So I'm going to do it like this. Okay, now instead of three-fourths, I have, let's count. What is three-fourths equivalent to? One, two, three, four, five, six, eighths. Okay, that was easy. And I'm, I still have one-eighths over here. I don't need to change that one. And I can add that really easily. It equals seven eighths. OK, 
okay? Let's double check just to make sure if that pattern works. So how do I get from four to eight? What can I multiply by? Okay, good job, by two. And so let's do that to the top number, the numerator times two. Four times two is eight. Three times two is six. Great job. All right, now I wanted to give you guys a problem of one third plus one fourth. And I want you to pause the video and see if you can find a common denominator. All right, let's see how you did. Let's count by threes. And then let's count by fours. All right, we found what they have in common is 12. So that means we need to change both fractions to have a denominator of 12. All right, and then we just need to ask ourselves, how do I get from three to 12? You probably said times four, so we wanna do that to the top, the numerator also. One times four is four. Okay, let's do the same thing over here. Four times what equals 12? Okay, good, three, so we're gonna do the same to the numerator. Okay, then it's just a matter of four plus three. Easy peasy, seven twelfths.